Welcome back home. The state delegation of Maharashtra inaugurated its pavilion at the World Economic Forum Annual Meeting 2022 in Davos on Sunday. At the summit, the delegation is representing the state's role in building the $5 trillion economy for India. The state delegation is led by Maharashtra's Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Aditya Thakre. The delegation hopes to mobilize huge investments in Maharashtra. And on the first day of the forum, Maharashtra signed an MOU with the Global Plastic Action Partnership and initiated the Maharashtra Plastic Action Partnership. The plan is expected to serve as a roadmap for sustainable development in the state. Ketan is joining us for more details here. Ketan, uh, if you can take us through, uh, you know, what exactly is the aim here? Obviously, one is to attract more investments into the state of Maharashtra. Uh, clearly, Avni, so the Maharashtra delegation uh, comprises of, of course, the env Environment Minister Aditya Thakre, uh, also the Industries Minister Subhash Desai and Power Minister Nitin Raut. Uh, is accompanying the delegation along with other state officials. As you pointed out, getting more investment in the state of Maharashtra is definitely a goal. Also, uh, sustainable energy and sustainable and push for uh, sustainable energy and sustainable environment reforms is also on the cards. Uh, also on the cards, Aditya Thakre has uh, uh, tweeted that he met Surendra Patwar, who is the founder chairman of NB Gemini and global leader in the world of recycling. He's also uh, met uh, meta officials and Facebook officials uh, and explain to them as to how chatbots are used in 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 uh, in solving civic problems of Mumbaikers and how the BMC has engaged in doing that and he's also hoping that some partnership will be on the cards on that front so clearly it's an action packed day for Maharashtra in uh, in in, uh, in in Switzerland in Davos and also especially uh, when it comes to sustainable solutions as well as investment opportunities for the state of Maharashtra. All right, Ketan, thank you so much for getting us all of those details.